This conference will now be recorded. Our next topic is quality planning and execution configuration. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see maintaining the settings at plant level, then inspection type configuration. Okay, we will see the inspection type uh, configuration, what are the fields and all. Then assigning inspection type to lot origin, this we will see. Then define default values for inspection lot. Okay, we will, we will see this one. Then we will see defined results recording configuration. Then we will proceed with inspection plan configuration, task list inspection plan configuration. In the inspection plan configuration, we will see inspection plan header configuration, inspection plan operation configuration, and followed by assignment of task list to material type. So these are the uh, topics we'll be covering in the inspection planning and execution configuration. Okay. So first we will start with we'll start with QM settings at plant level. Okay. So you need to maintain you need to maintain plant specific settings for each plant in which QM component is active. Okay. So whenever uh, SAP quality management module is implemented. The first step is you have to maintain plant specific settings. Okay, I'll show you this in the system in a minute. Okay, you can set plant wise settings such as inspection characteristics and inspection methods, physical sample location, report types, print control, and account assignment parameters. So, all these settings you can do, which I will show it in the system. Okay. When the system is unable to find specific master data in quality planning, it refers to the information or settings maintained in the plant settings. So normally, when when you are when you are doing quality execution process, inspection lot creation, results recording, usage decision, stock posting, if system is not able to find any specific master data, and it will and in that case, it will search for the information or settings maintained in the plant parameter set so this we will cover now. okay so as we just discussed the first step in sap qm implementation is to maintain the settings at plant level so let's say you are implementing sap for a particular plant let's say the plant is 1710 the plant code so for this plant you need to maintain the plant level settings then only you can main you can create a, other master data other plant level settings everything you can maintain okay so now we will see this in the system okay so i'm logging on to the system Okay, I'll log down to the system. So I'll, I'll go through the navigation path. You, you need to go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, scroll down, go to quality management. Okay, go to basic settings. Here you have maintain settings. So you need to click on this. Okay, so here you see in this case, we will in this system we will take the example of 1710 it is already maintained okay suppose let's say you want to create for a new plant then what 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 you need to do is you need to take the existing plant and then you have to use the copy function that is recommended okay so first we will see the settings in the in inside the set inside this plant dependent qm settings take the plant select the plant go to details here you see there is a button details click on that so you have the various fields in different tabs okay so we will discuss one by one first is basic data here you have master inspection characteristics with history and inspection methods with history if you activate these checkboxes whenever you create a mic or you whenever you change an mic 
system will automatically assign a version to me. So what I will do, I'll just activate both. I'll show you the for the MICs. So let me save this. Okay. So now I'll create an MIC. Okay. QS20. So I'll use the plant 1710. Okay. I'll just use 7123. Okay. I'm just creating MIC. Enter. I'll create a quantitative one. Released complete copy model. Okay, I'll go to control indicators. Okay. We'll continue with the creation. This we already discussed during our master data sessions. So what I will do, decimal places I'll put one, target value seven. This one lower limit is zero, upper limit is 14. So now I'm creating the characteristic. So when I save, system will assign a version to it. So now I'm saving it. Okay, so now it is created. Now, if I go to display mode, if I go to display, if I enter the plant and the MIC we just created, enter, you see here it has assigned a version to it. One. Now, if I change any any value for this MIC, system will automatically assign a version. To it. So what I will do, I'll just make some changes. Okay. Now I'm I'm changing the MIC. I'll go to quantitative data. I'll increase the upper limit to 2. Oh, sorry, 20. 20. 20. Now, when I save, system will automatically assign a version 2. No save. Okay. Now, if I go to display, okay. Now, if I, if I go inside, automatically it will show the first version. Second version, sorry. Second version. So, for the second version, let's go to first version. Okay. If I go to version, now to go to the first version, and may enter the version go inside if you go to quantitative data it is showing the old value 40. so now if i go to version 2 if i go to quantitative data it is showing the upper limit new value so like this whenever you create or change an mic system will assign a version to it so that you can track the changes so that is the importance of this field master inspection characters with which step and same applies to your inspection method okay so that is how it works unless asked by the customer you need to activate these check boxes okay next one is inspection lot creation so this one enter container